This idyllic refuge is known as Bikini Atoll, part of the Marshall Islands. An atoll is a ring of ancient coral reefs that are left behind when an island sinks back into the ocean. The process can take as long as 30 million years, and coral reefs are home to a quarter of the plants and animals in the world's oceans. The name Bikini brings to mind two eye-popping visions. Wake up, men, it's 1948. Here's the latest product of 50 years of evolution in fashion and form. The Bikini swimsuit and ground zero of a series of 23 nuclear bomb tests in the 1940s and 50s. Operation Crossroads has begun. Bombardier's supreme test is at hand as the bomb bay doors open. The tests assured a nation at war that its terrible new weapons worked. But the knowledge came at a great cost. There seemed little hope that the beautiful ecosystem would ever recover. For over half a century, few dared to visit the former bomb site. But in 2008, scientists decided to examine the reef in the first ever study on coral diversity since the atomic test ended. What they found was staggering and splendid. Not only had the corals returned, they were thriving. Even growing from some of the ships sunk during the atomic tests. While some of the original species were still unaccounted for, 70% of the native coral species have resettled the lagoon. What's so impressive to me about this coral reef and fish just bouncing back is really two very powerful lessons. The first is that nature is resilient. If you leave it alone, it can come back. But the other important thing about this is that not all the atolls in that chain were actually bombed. There was one that was relatively left intact. And it's from this one atoll that all that seed stock, all that life then sprang back into bikini. Healthy species caught a ride on strong winds and currents and drifted into the once devastated area. This is good news when more and more of the world's corals are turning white, bleaching because their colorful algae are dying. Corals could be considered as a canary of the ocean in the same way that the canary in a coal mine is this indicator that there's, there's trouble coming. The canaries may be forewarning us about global warming, acidic oceans, and pollution, but we can't be certain we simply know too little about the floors of our ocean. The last frontier on Earth. <laughs>